which LMH and LMDH prototypes will be racing in 2024. Across the world, companies are trying to get involved with these new regulations to try and win outright at the 24 Hours of Le Mans and other big endurance racing events. For this video, I will talk about every manufacturer that is set to race hypercar or GTP next season. In the top categories, the 2023 championships of IMSA and the WEC have been incredible to watch. But what if I told you in 2024, these motorsports are taking the competition to the next level? By the way, if you're interested in knowing exactly what LMH and LMDH are, check out the video in the top right corner. That explains everything you need to know. But essentially, LMH and LMDH are both prototype endurance racing regulations for the WEC and IMSA. Let's begin by talking about IMSA's Grand Touring Prototype Class, otherwise known as GTP, in 2024. So every single manufacturer that was competing in 2023 will continue into 2024. This list includes Porsche and their 963, Acura and their ARX 06, Cadillac and their V Series R, and BMW and their M Hybrid V8. In addition to those four manufacturers will be Lamborghini and their SC63. This will be a new prototype joining the grid, but it will not be racing full time, only in the five Michelin endurance rounds of IMSA. So that includes Daytona, Sebring, Watkins Glen, Indianapolis, and Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta. Now keep in mind, all five prototypes that are racing next season in GTP are all LMDH entries. Not a single Le Mans hypercar will be joining for 2024. However, the following year in 2025, Aston Martin will bring over their Valkyrie, which is based around the Le Mans hypercar regulations. This means that the British manufacturer will likely become the first brand to bring over an LMH to IMSA. So that completes the list for GTP, with five manufacturers on the grid for next season. But now, let's take a look at the potential 10 manufacturers on the hypercar grid for the 2024 World Endurance Championship. For 2024, hypercar will see Toyota continue with the GR010, Ferrari with their 499P, Porsche with their 963, Peugeot with the 9x8 hypercar, Cadillac with the V-Series R, and potentially Van Wall with the Van der Waal 680. So we know for sure that five of the manufacturers competing in 2023 will continue into 2024. However, that sixth manufacturer, Van Wall, is unconfirmed at this time. The Baikalis team, effectively rebranded as Van Wall, hasn't had the best time in 2023, but we have to remember, Van Wall does not have the same resources like the giants of Toyota and Porsche, such as a hybrid system, and so they aren't going to be as fast as the other manufacturers. In the next few months, we'll probably get confirmation whether they will continue or not. Personally, I would like to see Van Wall stay in the WBC. But now, let's move into the four manufacturers that will join the hypercar category next season. These companies include BMW and their M Hybrid V8, Alpine and their A424, Lamborghini with their SC63, and Isotto Fraschini with their Tipo 6 LMH Competizioni. Now, I've already mentioned 10 manufacturers for hypercar, which is quite a lot, but there's one manufacturer that we will unfortunately not see in 2024, and that is Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus. And that's because Glickenhaus has ended their hypercar participation for the foreseeable future. Financial issues are the main cause for Glickenhaus's exit from the WEC. The American manufacturer is small. They do not have the same resources to compete with the giants like Porsche, Ferrari, and Toyota. These lack of funds do not allow Glickenhaus to continuously update their Le Mans hypercar. And because there wasn't enough financial backing, there was no reason for Glickenhaus to continue into the World Endurance Championship. Of course, it's a shame to see them not continue. It's been a pleasure to watch that team participate in WEC Hypercar since its inception in 2021. Okay, let's go further in detail to these new hypercars joining in 2024. First off, we have BMW. 
Out of these four, BMW has the most experience in this new prototype endurance racing era, considering that the M Hybrid V8 already races in IMSA's GTP class. The WEC variant of BMW's hypercar will be run by Belgian squad WRT. They will bring two factory LMDH prototypes to the WEC and the 24 Hours of Le Mans. BMW's entrance into the WEC also marks their return to the top-level category of Le Mans. The last time the German manufacturer raced in the main prototype class was back in 1999, when BMW won overall with the V12 LMR. Next, we have Alpine with the A424. Alpine will be making a return to hypercar, but this time with an actual prototype entry that is based around the regulations. You see, Alpine technically raced in the hypercar category in 2021 and 2022, but with an LMP1 grandfathered car, not with an LMH or an LMDH. Alpine will once again be partnering with Signatech to bring two LMDH prototypes to the full-time WEC grid. Next, we have Lamborghini. The SC63 is the Italian manufacturer's first prototype hybrid race car. Like I said before, Lamborghini will also be competing in the IMSA GTP class, and they should have two SC63s at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The factory Lamborghini hypercars will be entered by Italian brand Iron Lynx for both the WEC and IMSA. Finally, we have the revived Italian brand Isotta Fraschini. Their car, called the Tipo 6 LMH Competizioni, will be hopefully making its debut in 2024. Isotta Fraschini have partnered with Vector Sport, as the British squad will likely be racing at least one hypercar in 2024. The hypercar is yet to go through the homologation process to enter the WEC, but it's pretty much confirmed that they should be there in 2024. Isotta Fraschini could eventually have a second hypercar in 2024, but at least getting the first entry from Vector Sport is the target. So there you have it. That is every manufacturer set to enter an LMH or LMDH in 2024. Which of these manufacturers are you supporting? Let me know all your thoughts on that down in the comments. Do you like endurance racing? Well, if you do, I highly suggest you subscribe. I produce content for you weekly on WEC and IMSA. And speaking of content, here are some videos you can watch right now. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.